Hey, VV Nation, welcome to the 6 p.m. video. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest, and I've got a killer list for you today. I've got a banger of stocks. These are all speculative stocks, so I'm not going to tell you to go buy them all right now, but if nothing else, I'm going to introduce you to some stocks that should be on your radar and watch them and time them. And of course, I got a little bonus of what I've done with them as well. Folks, these are stocks that have great upside potential. And no, I am not pumping anything. I've got nothing, no ulterior motive behind these stocks. These are stocks that I've been looking at, stocks I'm watching the news, and then I'm going to use the power of the VectorVest system to help me determine when it's okay or not okay to get into these stocks. So let's get right into my stories. First one, Palantir. I've done a lot of videos on these on this stock. I like the stock, especially in the age of AI and machine learning. Palantir takes data and it condenses it down to useful information no matter what industry you're in. They've got contracts with FBI, the CIA, from the perspective of safeguarding the country, along with contracts in the medical field, in the technical field, in the AI field, Folks, this is something that you've got to keep your eyes on. Earnings came out. Stock is killing it. Uh, Palantir's off the charts success shows the AI revolution is here. Uh, Palantir, along with another stock, I'm going to give a shout out to another stock, uh, Snowflake in the whole machine learning space. It's going to be crucial for AI. So that's stock number one. Number two, Pixelworks jumps on true cut motion technology deal with Disney. No matter how you feel about Disney, and we're not going to go down that path, but it's still a big company. It produces and puts out a lot of movies. The technology with this, um, this collaboration could be huge. True cut motion technology is a registered trademark of Pixelworks, provides filmmakers with shot by shot motion grading tools and eliminates motion playback anomalies while maintaining the desired brightness levels, the company said. So it's an upgrade in technology in the movie making space. That could be good. And the collaboration again with Disney uh, could prove to be a winner, a win-win situation. Next one. Now, this is a medical company in Habach, in a big case, in Therapeutics announces a publication highlighting the results from its phase one studies with that drug right there. I'm not, I'm not jacking that up. Now, what I like about this is that it's going after Parkinson's related disorders and other diseases of the Abelson tyrosin kinases. What the hell are you talking about? Gosh, these words are killing me. I, but anything dealing with um, diseases or in, uh, inferences that are that are bad for people, I am on board with that as well. So something to keep in mind, especially effectively going after Parkinson's disease. Next one, Xro. Now, before any of you come out there and say to me, "Oh, you're telling us to go buy Xro?" No, I am not. I, I was in Xro big. I pulled back after the stock got killed. But this is big news, and this is something that we did talk about last week uh, with the deal with C Electric. Why is that important? C Electric was already ensconced. Ensconced? Mm, I'm not making up that word. That's a real word, I think. I don't know if I'm using it correctly or not. In the space of EV, uh, complementary technologies driving significant synergy potential, which provides a full scope of solution with enhanced performance and blah, 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 blah. Uh, C Electric was a private company now merged with Xro um, with their coil and now they get a drivetrain. I think that this becomes a super win-win for both companies. Xro is starting to feel the effect of moving up. I'm not telling you it's time to buy it yet, but I already believe in Xro long term. I think from a clean energy electric space uh, with their coil drivers. Um, they just got to get out of their own way, put out a lot of these NDAs that are out there that are going to help to drive the stock's price higher. If you don't know much about Etro, I'm going to invite you to do some research on it. I think long term, this is a great stock. And now I believe that C Electric strengthens its ability to long term make money 
in this space. So now Etro is now bought up C Electric. Here's an old story. Uh, back in 2021, though, C Electric reports the biggest ever order uh, for 1,150 subsidy free electric trucks. Uh, C Electric, again, is already in this space, getting behind or uh, Exro getting behind it. I think Exro just bought a lot of business that was already on the books for C Electric, which now puts money in the pocket of Exro. All right. So um, I think that this is still a big deal. Uh, we're going to take a look at it in a second. Here's another stock. So we know um, that I talked about this company called Alstom. I liked it enough that I wanted our development department, our data department, to put this stock in the database. So this is still relatively new in the VectorVest system. But Alstom, A-L-S-M-Y is the ticket symbol, wins a $540 million contract for Saudi, auto, uh, Saudi battery powered tramway. This is going down the whole idea of clean transit or clean um, energy, clean energy transportation, just like EVs. But now EVs, electric vehicles, now moving over to electric trains. And this is big. This is a new contract, $540 million. And then here's the other story that caught my attention a week ago, uh, is that this company, Alstrom, He's got an order for 16 tracks electric locomotives to be delivered to Romania by 2026. So now we all know what's happened in the EV space, but now we're talking about electric trains. Again, new, still could be at the, at, at the forefront of moving. So that's why, again, I want you to keep your eyes on this. Uh, as a, a speculative play, but they already had, uh, they got an order to build um, Saudi battery powered tramway and now um, the train's going to Romania. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I like this. You can go from 160 kilometers to 200 kilometers and pull up to 16 passenger carriages on an electric train and are intended for rail passenger uh, transport. So we know about uh, RSVN has been rocking because of the regulation or upgrading uh, the rail system in the EU. Um, I, I think that that might fall hand in hand with these electric trains as well. All right. So those are my speculative picks. That's from the news side. Now let's go take a look at them in the program and let's determine whether or not it's worth it from a speculative standpoint. Now, because these are speculative, Relative values and relative safeties will tend to be below one. But interesting, in the Alstom play, I got a relative value at 1.32. This stock, as a speculative play, already has upside potential trading at $1.19 with a value of 184. An undervalued low dollar stock speculative play, two contracts for electric trains. All right. So. The other ones are not fundamentally sound, but that goes along with speculative plays for the most part. Uh, three of the five stocks have RTs above one, and Alstom is not one of them. But Pixelworks, uh, with the collaboration with Disney, has got an RT above one. Palantir has got an RT above one. And the medical company going after Parkinson's has an RT above one. Only one stock has a CI above one, and look at that. That is Palantir. Palantir, man, with all of these orders that they're getting, uh, it's just a matter of time before I think this stock really takes off. And again, uh, it's moving up nicely today at 26%. Good, goodly muggly. All right, uh, let's move over. You know, I like sales growth to be higher than uh, earnings growth. With the drug company, big time it is. Palantir, not as much. Uh, Altum, Alstom, not as much either. The pixel work side, though, it might have been really advantageous for them to jump on board with Disney because from an earnings perspective and sales perspective, they were struggling. This could help to get them out of the doldrums and then would etch off again sales growth, blowing the doors off of earnings growth. So real quick, I'm going to do something real quick. Let's see how these stocks have done from the beginning of the year. I, I just want to get a feel. I just want to get a feel of what they've done. I, the first trading day of January, uh, Alstom is not here because it wasn't tracked. 
Alstom is not here because it wasn't tracked. It just recently got tracked, right? Let's quick test them. Not bad. 48.5% where the market was on the spiders was only up 4.5%. Look at that. The drug company up 132%. Palantir up 27%. The Pixel Company, uh, Pixel Works up 66%. And now could do even better because of the collaboration with Disney. XROF still struggling. All right, let me go back to stream. So this is what I wanted to do. Now that I've done that, at least caught your attention on some of these stocks to at least keep in your, your back pocket. And if they explode, folks, at least you know you heard it here that these stocks had high potential. I like them so much that I put them into a portfolio and we'll track it. I just drew them in today. I uh, we're up about 1.34%. This is all four, uh, all five of them. We're gonna keep our eyes on these and I've got to stop on them. I'm gonna go to uh, edit. I've got to stop on these. My stop is an average true range, 10 day look back period on average true range times three. I'm giving these stocks a lot of room to the upside as well as a lot of room to the downside before they close out. So that is it in a nutshell. Up one, this is just since I'm recording this video, it's up over one, pushing one and a half percent already, but it's in my list of uh, portfolios that I'm going to keep my eyes on as well. Folks, I've done all that I could do in regards to letting you know some speculative plays that could be good plays for you. Um, and before I go, let's do one last thing. Let's, let's go look at the graph, view the stock graph. Let's do that real quick. All right. I'm going to look at the MPI graph, put them on a three month graph. I've got a level of support. I'm hoping that the news is enough to push it higher. Would I buy it now? No. What would I be looking for, at least for the three to go above the eight before I pull the trigger? Even when people are getting out of it, they're getting out of it big. Look at the earnings growth, though. Look at the earnings growth. The earnings per share uh, is falling a little bit, but they've beat earnings again and again and again. Let's go to earnings and let's go to a six month graph. And let's go. My earnings don't show up. That's very interesting, but they are. It looks like they did beat. Let's go to the next one. Wow, the drug company uh, in, I can't say that name anymore. A little bit of volatility going on, pulled back the 3D8, went back up. It is above the 3D8 and the 20. Look at the rising earnings per share. Look at the earnings growth rate and RT above one. Next one, uh, Palantir. Earnings beat, stopped at a three month high, bigly, right? Big wick. But look at the gap, not feeding the gap. The 3D8, the 20 all in play, big volume. Look at the earnings growth and the earnings per share. Let's go to the next one. The Alstom, brand new traded stock uh, in the system. I just want you to keep your eyes on that. I like the orders. And um, Pixelworks, nicely moving up. Big wick here. It's got to overcome, but nicely moving up. 3D separating from the eight above the 20. Uh, rising earnings growth, earnings per share, higher than it was three months ago. Um, so there you go. Those are my stocks, speculative stocks. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, do that. This is the kind of stuff that we bring to your attention. All right, hit the bell, I hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you've got some stocks that you're looking at as speculative plays, Put them in the comments. I'm curious to know. I may do another video on your speculative plays. Folks, it's always my pleasure to bring these videos to your attention. And especially if I have introduced a new stock to you that you're interested in possibly now, just type in, yes, new stock. All right, yes, new stock if I did bring something to your attention. Wow, this is a longer video than I wanted. I apologize, but hopefully you stayed to the end. Uh, I gotta go. Until the next time, folks, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, Glenn Tompkins here. Did you miss out on the Tampa two-day investment seminar? Well, right now you can get access to the live recording from this event for only $195. That's right, folks, $195. You can get access to all the great presentations from instructors like Steve Chapp, Jerry D'Ambrosio, Jim Penner, Ron Wheeler, and yours truly. Folks, you just need to go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash Replay 24. You need to do that right now.